side of the force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. You will subscribe to the channel. Good. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, Mr. X. I'm not really the Emperor. I'm really excited today because I have a brand new collectible and I'm sitting on it. This is the, well, second time I've ever sat on a collectible. And I'm really excited to share it with you. And you're probably wondering, how are you going to do that, Mr. X, when you're sitting on it? And I also just realized, I don't think I'm facing the camera exactly. Doesn't matter. Today we are reviewing Regal Robots Emperor Throne Office Chair. This has been a grail of mine. I've been wanting to get it for such, such a long time. Now the review is going to be a little bit different because I'm sure you don't want to look at me sitting in it, but you can kind of see how it fits now. Pretty good. Yeah. It's not very comfortable. Just kind of a heads up. We'll talk about that at the end. But uh, uh, this retails for $12.99 and everybody thinks this is one of the coolest things in the world, but is it worth it? That's what we're going to find out today. Someone has to bite the bullet. Somebody has to see if it's a waste of money. And that is right up my alley for you guys. So I went ahead and purchased him. Shipping was another $200 or $300, which was kind of a joke because um, it, is on, it is a pallet. So you do have to pay for a skid. So I get that. But they could have uh, shut the box down a little bit. So first, let me show you the box. Here's the box and me actually unboxing it in my garage. And the reason I unboxed it in my garage is because, as you can see, this box is just way too big to get into the man cave. And I was surprised because it's probably uh, cubic volume-wise, you could have fit two of these chairs in here. And granted, they're a weird shape, but as you open it up here, you see they tried to doll it up, tried to make it fancy. I actually have a review launching later this week with Weta Golem that has similar packaging type style. Let's make your really expensive purchase look really fancy so you feel better about the money you spent. That trick doesn't work on me unless you use the Jedi mind trick because uh, I may be weak-minded. That's why I buy all this crap. But anyway, you see me unboxing it here. Uh, it came in two pieces. One is the chair itself. And the bottom is the uh, casters and rollers. So I decided to show you an assembly video. It's very easy to assemble even though they didn't include instructions so if they did I wouldn't have read them anyway because instructions are for what that's right so here we go you basically uh, attach the bottom part with the wheels uh, through some uh, ratchet nuts and screws pretty easy except it doesn't have a front and back like a traditional office chair does so of course Mr. X put it on wrong and after I put it on I, I realized they're probably gonna put it on the right hand the up and down lever which we're gonna talk about not lever lever because that's funner to say. But uh, I put it on wrong, so I had to take it all off and put it back on. As you see, I use my Thor hammer toolkit. But assembly's pretty easy. Uh, you have to flip the chair over, so I made sure to put white cloth on the bottom to make sure there's no issues damaging the chair, because it's such an expensive chair. Kind of an interesting story, too. I remember I hired a brand new manager, and they didn't have a chair, so I said, Here's my credit card. Go get a nice chair. And I figured, you know, like $160, $170. Yeah, $400 chair. What the? Of course, now I'm sitting in a $1,300 chair, so I really can't say anything. So let's take a look at this sucker. And my voice will echo a little bit because I'm not right next to the microphone. Now you can get it in any color you want, but of course, if you're gonna get a Star Wars chair, you wanna go with the classic throne colors, the purple and the black. It is leather, I hope so for that price at least. Uh, you know, pleather, fake leather is getting better and better nowadays. Has the awesome stitching all throughout, you can see. There's kind of this weird uh, design in it. And I don't know if that's the uh, leather settling in, because obviously there was a, a climate change, just came from North Carolina into the mountains. But it looks good. Looks like what you'd expect out of an executive chair that you'd buy for two, three hundred dollars. And really, I'm just showing you some close-ups here because there's not really a lot to talk about. Now, 
I did get it on uh, wheels and casters, and you can get one that's just on a uh, cylindrical base. I'll actually show you a picture at the end of that for a few hundred dollars more, but down here in the man cave, as you know, I like to move back and forth. The colors are very vibrant. They're very good. Works really well. The stitching looks great. I did have one tiny bit of damage, and you guys know me. I'm pretty easy going. Here's a picture of it. This is not acceptable in my opinion when I spent this much on it and this much on shipping. So I'm definitely going to contact them. Either require I get a brand new chair or they give me some sort of refund, which you guys know I'm really cool. When I get broken stuff, I don't really care. But I paid this much. I'm going to do that. Down here you can see the metallic casters or wheels and and uh, it's a typical office chair. It has the lever to go up and down depending on your height. I have it at full height, a tiny bit less. I'm a very tall guy, which uh, as I've said many times, New York Comic Con, everyone's like, I didn't know you were this tall. That's right, I'm a giant. So very, very cool. So what's the verdict on this piece? What are your thoughts, Mr. X? And honestly, my thoughts are the exact same when I ordered it and I had it coming. I think this is the coolest chair I've ever sat in. I think it's the coolest chair I've ever seen. It's not very comfortable. It, uh, it doesn't lean back at all, which there does have a knob on the bottom that might control that. It's very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Very, uh, you get good posture with it. Let's put it that way, which I have bad posture. So that's probably a good thing, but it, it doesn't make it as comfortable. I wish it had something on the sides, uh, kind of slides off there. You saw some of the sides earlier. Um, I can see doing my reviews in it, I'm always going to be leaning up. I'll show you right here. But my thoughts are it's the coolest chair I've ever sat in. No way in hell this is worth $1,300. Uh, I would have happily paid about half that, but I don't think this is worth $1,300. Uh, the people over at Regal Robot, they make some amazing stuff. And I know Star Wars licensing costs a lot of money, um, but this is not worth $1,300. They're not going to sell very many of these. I know they're handmade and made to order, but uh, one of the reasons I really wanted to get it, like I said at the beginning, honestly, was for you guys because I only found one review out there, and it wasn't for the one with wheels. It was for the other one, and it was a very favorable review, but... Uh, it's from a guy that is has one of the most amazing Star Wars collections I've ever seen. So for him, it makes sense. But for the average person, or even me, it doesn't make sense. Um, I love it. I absolutely do. It is a fantastic chair, but $1,300 for a chair. I think the one exception is if... Uh, I'm usually at one office. Uh, I have a couple offices, but I'm usually at one. That's where all my uh, statue collection is. Uh, that circumstance, I think having it there would make sense. So if you have a really nice office and uh, some cool collectibles and stuff like that, it would make sense. But keep in mind, it's not that comfortable. So if you're sitting in it for eight hours or whatever that is, that could be an issue. But it is an awesome piece. If you are a diehard Star Wars fan and there's nothing out there like this, this is the way to go. But you will pay a pretty penny because it's the only thing out there like that. So I'm not bashing Regal Robot. Uh, you know, they have a, a product and nobody else has it. I mean, there's a reason that Apple charges so much for a cell phone because exclusivity. So I, I understand that from the business uh, sense and I give them props and in no way am bashing them. But for me, in my personal opinion, there is no way this chair is worth uh, this much. Half, maybe at the most. But I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. Let me know what other cool chairs are out there. That would be interesting to know. And if you are new to the channel because you wanted to check this out, and you think collectibles are cool, subscribe to my channel. You will subscribe to my channel. That's all I got for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.